Bonds, good to see you. I'm happy that you've had a good summer's break um, after what was a really demanding, demanding season last year and now you're ready to get back at it again. Yeah, really ready. Looking forward to, to returning. I'll be honest, it's been brilliant to, to be away and have a break. Um, last season was brutal. It was long. Um, the World Cup seemed to interfere with the season in some way, which is a bit strange. But we started earlier last year, finished later than the previous season. And obviously it's real challenging for us in terms of games. So it's a long period, but it's been great to be away. Um, I mean, it hasn't been non-stop um, or, or complete stop. We've been fairly busy meeting people and many Zoom calls from all over the world. But it's been, um, it's been lovely to, to have a break. And now we're a week away from... Welcoming everybody back and, and looking forward to another new season to do it all over again. Since we last spoke, Gary's left the club. Um, what can you tell us about that decision and where we are at the process of appointing his successor? Yeah, so me and Ben have been meeting people throughout the last few weeks and we're really close to appointing somebody. So hopefully next week we can, we can announce the change that we're making there um, and the way in which that will adapt how we're working slightly. Um, I mean, as I said at the time, Gary's been absolutely brilliant for us. It, and, and for me personally, you know, the first three years doing the job, um, Gary's experience has, has, has been huge and he's played a major part in the success that we've had over the last three years, as have a lot of the players that left at the end of last season. So we know that it's a, it's a summer of change and it's a bit of a cycle of starting something different. And for a, for a bit of a freshness for me, really, and to, to know that what I probably want and need around me is a little bit different now to what it was three years ago. Um, gives us a chance to, to refresh. I've been here uh, three years, which is a long time in this position. It's the 11th longest serving a 92, so that tells you how long that is. So in order to keep that rolling and, and keep things fresh and changing and keep challenging me in different ways, I think the change is, is quite an important part. Some of that happens really naturally with the end of cycles of contracts and things, and some of that we have to force a little bit ourselves but I'm really comfortable with that with that decision and with the decisions that we've made at the end of last season and I'm really looking forward to building a new team and, and showing that we can be ultra competitive at the level again. And on the playing side um, we've retained four of the five players who had contract offers in Diggers, Harrison, George and Fajiri that must really please you. Absolutely, yeah. I think that Diggers and Dunks don't need any introduction. They've been outstanding for us for a long time, for, certainly in my period doing this job for three years. They've been a massive part of the success we've had. And when you're making change, you want some continuity in the team and you want some characters that really display your values and help create the environment for the new ones that are coming in. So they'll, they'll continue to play a big part. Um, we're looking forward to seeing Fajiri hit the ground running. He, he's in a good place physically, so touch wood, he can continue that. He's obviously had a really tough couple of years, but... We've seen some real exciting glimpses that he's returning to his level um, and I know that he can score and create goals for us at this league, in this league. He's done it before and hopefully that, that will um, bear fruit for us this season. And I think in the case of George, you know, I, I said last year when he had his injury, um, I felt he'd come back and make a big point at some, at some point and he obviously did with the, the goal at Accrington. Um, he's got goals and, and creativity in him and it will be like a new sign in that if we can get him super fit and fly in. Um, I think he'll become another in a long list of players that constantly say they improve, love it here and, and rediscover themselves. We've heard that story a lot over three years. That isn't a coincidence. It's what we do. We do it brilliantly um, and we'll do it again with the next team and George will be a big part of that. And in terms of new signings, I'm sure you're working hard in the background to bring some fresh faces in. When can the supporters potentially expect to see some of that news announced? Yeah, we are. We're working all the time on that. I mean, it's very difficult. It's been quite slow, I think. I, th I remember saying this the last couple of years. I think um, people have got quite into a, a, a pattern of when holidays happen. Uh, the window's just opened and you see a little bit of action in the last couple of days across the league, but it hasn't been hectic so far. Uh, we'd love to try and do a couple before we get back in for, for training on the first day of pre-season. And if we can, we will. We're working hard to try and do that. But if not, and if it gets delayed a little bit, then, then no problem. We, we know we've got to have people in place by the 5th of August. And we also know that we, what we've got till the end of August in order to do it. So we've got quite a few to sign. Six or seven players will join us. We know that. We know the positions we're after and the types that we're after. Um, and, and we're quite relaxed in the fact that we will add to the squad and we'll be a strong team going into the, to the new season and we'll hopefully get that balance right of good balance in positions and age and stage of career and athleticism and experience and um, if we can get that right we'll, we'll build another team that can be really proud of and, and people enjoy watching because we want to continue the momentum that we've built and, and then that we finished the season with so even that will be a, a big change this summer uh, we're quite excited by that, that challenge and it might be a little bit of time until we've got something to announce. If we've got something in the next week, great, but um, nothing's that close at the moment. So we'll just see where we go in the next uh, week or two.
And in terms of pre-season, two fixtures are announced. What are your plans for the rest of the uh, summer schedule? Yeah, we're going away again, which is great. Um, the owners have backed us to go to, to Wales again. We spent a week there the last couple of years. It's been really beneficial for us, so that will happen. Um, we've, we've advertised the two games with, with Barnet and with Ipswich, which will be good games. Ipswich will be the only game we play at the Abbey with, with a crowd. Um, and then one or two other games we will throw in at times and, and we'll see what they are. I mean, we're just finalising a couple of those at the moment. But a couple of our games will be behind closed doors, training ground games or, or in empty stadiums. Um, one, because the time that we want to play and, and maybe the crowds won't be the biggest for them. But, but two, really, re reality is my, my job for six weeks is to try and build a team that's ready to go at the start of the year. And sometimes when you can do that without the judgment of everybody watching and drawing conclusions, everyone's desperate to see a new team and see us playing again. Um, but you'll have 50-odd chances to do that next year. So the next six weeks are ours. We want to build a team. Um, and then everyone else can have the nine months after that.